Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another match day vlog. If I do look a bit tired, it's because I'm filming this first thing in the morning on the Friday morning of the game because I have got to go to college before I then get the coach down to Charlton. So that's the reasoning behind me looking absolutely shattered. Today, like I said, we take on Charlton away from my home at the Valley. Charlton are celebrating the 30th anniversary of them returning to the Valley and what a ground it is. It's a first for me, so another one to took off on the 92. It's the first in a while uh, since Aston Villa, I believe, so that was quite a while ago. Uh, so it's good to take off a new ground. Could be interesting today. They sit 14th, we sit 18th. They're only two points ahead of us. Obviously, the middle of the table is very tightly packed. I think it's between us and 11th. There's only like three points, so it's very, very tightly packed. They're leaking goals a bit at the minute. They conceded two against Stockport, of course, drawing two all, but I believe in their last four league games, they've conceded ten. Uh, they lost to MK Dons, they lost to Port Vale. Admittedly, they have scored seven, but they've scored seven in the two games back-to-back -back against Ipswich and Burton. Uh, so, yeah, could be interesting. I think we struggle to get goals, so can we score a couple today? It'd be nice. Can't see it. I do think there's something in this for us, though. And I, and I say that as if, as if you know, we, we don't have a chance. I, I genuinely think that there's just something telling me today that we could go there and get a result. And I'm, I'm never Mr. Optimistic. My score prediction is 1-0 to Cheltenham. Wow, I know. A, a math prediction for Cheltenham to win. Shock horror. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. And if you do want to enjoy this match day vlog, please do smash like and subscribe. It'd be massively appreciated. But yeah, without further ado, let's head to Charlton. Roy then, so the lineups are now out. Interesting choice in dropping Raglan back down to the bench, of course. Freeston is back from suspension. You're not going to leave him out of the squad. I think it's, yeah, to be honest, it, it's tough on any centre back to drop them out. Um, but I do think Raglan deserves better. I think he's been brilliant in, in, the, in the last few games he's played. So that's a tough one. But at the end of the day, someone had to drop out for Freeston. Uh, William starts, Broom, Ollie, and Kerr Bonds. So can Alundalu and May both start it. It is a decent middle start in Lavern. Southford and goal, of course, but fingers crossed we can get a result. I, I, I really do think we've got a, a much bigger chance than people think we do today. And I'm not saying it's going to be an easy game, but I do think there's something in, in this for us today. Fingers crossed that this lineup it, it is right for the game and we set it the right way. But yeah, it's good to kick off. Oh! 
to go and buy them. Now, guys. More than half time, Charlton on our flag, nil, Chatham nil. I don't know how neither side has scored. We've had the better chance, we've been unable to take them. We've probably been the second best in terms of quality, but I think we really should be one or two nil up with the chances we've had. It's poor uh, in terms of attacking quality today, but hopefully we can come out the second half a better team. Like I said, there's definitely something in this game for us. Fingers crossed we can get something, but it's going to be a very difficult second half. We were under pressure at the end from Charlton. So, yeah, could be interesting. Let's get back up there. Quarto. Full time, Charlton Athlete nil, Charlton Town one. My prediction was correct. It's a bit of a fluky goal, but great performance in the end from the lads. Ground that out well. Here he is. What do we reckon? Come on, the boy! What are we saying? Good game. Top man. Oh, yeah, what a performance. 
Oh, Wade has massively, massively turned it around, but he's got to keep this up now. He's got to keep going. Foul play turn. What a guy. He, he's got through the tough times and he's, and he's reaping the fruits of his labour now. And I just want to see him keep going for the benefit of him, but for the benefit of the club, of course, as well. Charlton, not too great. But yeah, you can see why they're having suspicions about Bangalore. Is he the right man for the job? Only time will tell. But yeah, have a class for us today. I'll see you in the next one.